Hello, my name is Ngoni, Wickham Court School. We are reporting on Sky Arts live from Osterley. Today's report is about tech speech. What is it? What has caused it? The speed. Is it the change of communication methods? Is it natural as young people do not like writing long sentences and are looking for shorter, faster ways to express themselves? Is it a sort of conspiracy when young people invent their own slang and actually do not want to be understood by parents or teachers? Technology is a huge part of everyday life for the average person. When mobile phones were first invented, it was expected that they would be mostly to make phone calls. However, we can use them in lots of ways. We have apps, the internet and social media. Most 12 to 15 year olds send on average 200 text messages a week. Social media gives people a sense of invisibility, which can result in vicious bullying. An example is Twitter. There is an enormous amount of hate towards celebrities. The latest case is JK Rowling. Social skills are affected as young people are becoming less social in the real world while becoming more active online. Is it normal to us? Text speech abbreviations in everyday speech. LOL. OMG. To lowering the quality of English. Is it dramatically affecting the intelligence of people who may feel that they don't need to learn spelling and other skills that technology has made almost redundant? Can it be helped? Can it be regulated? Somehow. We will now go to Studio 2, where our reporter, Luca Carter Henry, will provide some extra information related to today's topic. Thank you, Ngoni. Hi. I'm Luca and I'm reporting live from Brixton. For years the English language has adapted and changed to fit different times. Culture shifts but today we face a change to the way we communicate. In the past communication methods were limited to say the least. Devices such as the telegram and letter writing have been the standard way of communicating for the past hundred years. Now we are mobile and require mobile devices to converse with our voices. To someone alien to this technology this may seem like a revolutionary breakthrough but the, the recent change over the past 15 years have been really dramatic. The reason many want to type faster is because instant messaging services, such as WhatsApp, make sure your messages are sent and reach your correspondent within milliseconds. It means that you can converse with your friends, real time. So is text speak is a real substitute for a voice conversation? Phones have become pocket-sized computers, complete with touch screens and lightning-fast internet connections more used for entertainment than communication for some. But those who use their communication devices for social interaction are doing so in a way that seems strange or illogical to older generations. Tech speak, or some would put it tech speak, is commonly used in SMS or instant messaging to abbreviate words so that they can be written more easily. Is tech speak here to stay? Time will tell, but it is certain it's had a lasting impact. That's all from me, now over to Brandon. Thank you, Luca. I'm Brandon Linton, reporting for Sky Arts Live here in Wickham Court School. Our top story today is exploring the differences between teachers and students in their use of text speech in their daily lives. Some teachers believe that there could be a place for text speech in the classroom as it is important for young people to learn about different ways of communicating. I am now joined by teacher, Mr. Chilton Higgins, Hello. And students, Manisha. Hi. And Harry. Uh, uh, hello. Mr. Chilton Higgins, I hope you don't mind if we perform a little experiment. Guys, go. Was it clear for you, students? Um, yeah, pretty much. I guess I talk like this anyway, so it's very clear for me. Mr. Tilton Higgins, did you understand it? Yes, mostly I did. What about these? Yes, I understood it on the whole, but I was a bit confused by the use of punctuation and apostrophes. I'm not much of a texter, and when I do, I guess I'm old-fashioned because I use every word, which means it takes me forever. So I do understand most of it, but I guess texting isn't for me. 
Why did you use these abbreviations, Harry? Um, because they're quick, but I wouldn't text my dad W8 only to France. And you, Manisha? For me, it's simple. It saves time and energy. Lastly, Mr Chilton Higgins. What would you think if you saw this text speech in an exam? I would be horrified. Although I'm fine with text speak, I'm definitely not fine with the use of text speak in an exam. Well, thank you all for your time. Now it's back to the studios where Cameron Coker Gibbs will meet a few experts. Cameron? Thank you, Brandon. I'm Cameron Coker Gibbs and I'm in Studio 4 with our guests, Mrs. Richmond. Hello. And Christian Oligan. Oh, hello. My colleague already discussed a few aspects of text speech. Now a few more facts. Some teachers believe that many young people don't know how to write letters or even long emails because they are so used to short texts. Some believe that texting causes more harm than good in school's environment. I can continue, but maybe it's time to ask our guests, what do they think about this problem? Is it a problem at all? Christian? Sorry, what was the question? Well, should we say that Christian reserves his opinion? Mrs. Richman? Well, I, I think he's giving a perfect demonstration at the moment of, of completely ignoring you. And this is the point we're trying to make here about texting and the effect it has in the classroom and on young students' ability uh, in learning, uh, in English language, etc. And he is still not paying attention. Um, did you hear the question, Christian? No. Can you repeat the question? Well, we're actually discussing here what the problem is with people texting and how they're not paying attention uh, to anyone else who speaks to them or during the time they have a conversation. Okay. Well, Cameron, this is just the point we were making. I really think it is annoying that students are not listening and I think they are too busy on their phones while they should be listening to other people. Ah, oh, I see. Well, thank you for this conversation, Mrs. Richmond. Thank you. Christian. As you can see, the question is still open. The phenomena of text speech exists. We see quite a few pro and contra arguments. Still, it's not quite clear how it's going to develop, whether it's possible to regulate, and would it have an impact on use of English worldwide. This has been Cameron Coker Gibbs, Sky Studios, and Wickham Court School. Thank you for watching and thank you to the Sky Skills studio team.